A ball is thrown upward with a height of 1.5 meters at an initial speed of 31 meters per second. Acceleration resulting from gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Neglecting air resistance, solve for the velocity v of t and the height h of t of the ball t seconds after it is thrown. So let's go back and list all the given information. If the ball is thrown upward from a height of 1.5 meters, the initial height is 1.5 meters, meaning h of zero is equal to 1.5 and the initial speed is 31 meters per second, which means the initial velocity is 31 meters per second, which means V of zero is equal to 31. We're also told the acceleration resulting from gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second, which means A of T, the acceleration function, is equal to negative 9.8. And from this information, we want to determine the velocity function and the height function. Well, because the acceleration function is equal to the derivative of the velocity function, we can determine the velocity function by determining the antiderivative of the acceleration function. So first, v of t is equal to the antiderivative or indefinite integral of the acceleration function, which is negative 9.8. And because v of t is a function of t, we know we have dt which is equal to negative 9.8 t plus c. And since this is the form of the velocity function, we can now determine the constant of integration since we know v of zero is equal to 31. If v of zero is equal to 31, then if we substitute zero for t, the velocity function must equal 31, which gives us negative 9.8 times zero plus c equals 31. Simplifying, we have c equals 31. So now we know the exact velocity function is v of t equals negative 9.8t plus 31. So this is the first part of the question. And for the second part of the question, we're asked to determine the height function, which is the position function. And since the height function or position function is equal to the derivative of the velocity function, if we find the antiderivative of the velocity function, we can recover the position function or height function. So h of t is equal to the indefinite integral or antiderivative of negative 9.8t plus 31 dt, which is equal to negative 9.8 times t squared divided by two plus 31t plus c. Simplifying, we have h of t is equal to negative 4.9t squared plus 31t plus c, but we also know h of zero is equal to 1.5, which will allow us to determine c. If h of zero is equal to 1.5, which means if we substitute zero for t, the function value must be 1.5 which gives us negative 4.9 times the square of zero plus 31 times zero plus c equals 1.5. Simplifying, we have c equals 1.5, giving us our height function, h of t, is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus 31 t plus 1.5. I hope you found this helpful.